What's up you guys and welcome to yet another exciting episode of your favorite teen Christian magazine show, the Teen Gospel Live, where we take you guys on a journey of learning fun music and games. So Owami, today we are talking about something very serious and it's funny how teenagers don't even take it serious, which is a teenage, a teenage pregnancy. So this is why we ask the question today. The question for the day is how can we stop teenage pregnancy? That's right guys and here with us to answer that question is Usus Nongo Siklaba who we will get to meet a little bit later. Don't forget to hit us up on our social platforms using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. Right now though, it's time for us to start the show with a performance from Oonati. We hope you guys enjoy. to Unati for that beautiful song. We'll definitely be chatting to her a little bit later about it. Now, Linda, today we are talking about teenage pregnancy. And our question of the day is, how can we stop teenage pregnancy? So in studio, we have Usis Nongosi to help us understand the topic a bit better. Welcome to Teen Gospel Live. Thank you. Thank you for having me, guys. So Usis Nongosi, can you like introduce yourself, you know, name and surname, because I only mentioned your name. Yeah. So name and surname <laughs> and a little bit more about yourself. Okay. So my name is Nongosi Kaba. I've completed my master's in women and gender studies. I am a teen coach and sexual reproductive health researcher. And that's me in a nutshell. And I'm a dog mom. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. So I want to know, what are the factors that are contributing to teenage pregnancy in Africa? Mm. So I think before we jump into just that, it's important to also um, set the scene and have a context, right? So um, globally, teenage uh, pregnancy is rampant. We have 16 million girls 
falling pregnant every year globally. The more than 10% of them are actually in the age group of 15 to 19. Now, in academics, we are defining teenage pregnancy as pregnancy that occurs to young women underneath the age of 20, because you are indeed still dependent on your parent at yes. that time. So now that uh, teens are pregnant, right, mm. what factors do, do we face? Um, and let's, 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 let's put it on a continental I aspect, suspect, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, what, what problems do teenagers face? Uh -huh. So we often play a guessing game when it comes to one of the contributors um, to teenage pregnancy, um, such as um, poverty, financial instability. She wanted to prove her love. He wanted to prove his love. Mm. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. Funny. Um, <laughs> as, well, Very. As, as well as um, things, things really as silly as assuming that children or young girls are getting pregnant for a social grant, assuming that children are getting pregnant because of a lack of information, when in essence, it's a lack of um, agency or being denied agency, or it's a lack of, or well, actually having sex. Mm -hmm. That's the main driver. Yeah. Okay. So I want to know, now you mentioned that like some of the factors that contribute to it are poverty, etc. So how, how does um, teenage pregnancy affect the society in terms of societal norms and such? Mm. So just before we went on, we were actually discussing how um, teenage pregnancy um, continues to be a problem. It's not a problem that started now. And it it actually stifles the growth, not just of the child, uh, born to a child, but of the mother and their progress in terms of education. Mm -hmm. They're very likely to drop out of school. They're very likely not to get a good paying job to take care of the child. Children are very often being raised in grandmother's houses. And this is not to say that this is a problem, but we need to be very much aware of how we are changing the structure of the family, where we see um, a rise in single motherhood so what are the negative consequences of being an unmarried adolescent mother? <laughs> you know, what's scary is that we're looking at the consequences for these young girls because it's facing them. However, yes. they're not just dealing with their consequences in the now and the then, but they're also dealing with stigma. Stigma which is um, really rooted in generations of dads leaving mother and child and now generations of young men leaving young women. And before we know it, we have a fatherless um, nation, right? So again, this rise in single motherhood, very much a burden will be on this young woman to actually take care of this child and provide for this child on her own. So how does teenage pregnancy affect both the boy and the girl? Hmm. When doing my research, I'm, I, I'm breathing in because I'm thinking of how, how you mentioned how it affects the boys. And very often men do not bear the consequence of having a child in Ghana, mm -hmm. in the sense that you are left with your burden. Yeah. And you are mm -hmm. expected. I mean, there's these sayings and these cultural norms that are even embedded in our language that indeed, if you do have a child as a young woman, it will be your responsibility. The, the intro of I seen from Bogowa. Mm. <laughs> Can you see? So yeah. it's very much embedded in our culture that we understand that you will, as a woman, be responsible. Men as well, young men are growing up to be irresponsible in a sense that they do not come and fulfill um, their responsibility the of taking care of kids, parental responsibilities. Mm. Um, Welfare in South Africa in terms of getting fathers to pay child support is nearly impossible. And if you are in a poverty-stricken situation, your mother does not have time to be running up and down with you to courts. Mm -hmm. And so... Thank you so much, Susan Kosti, for coming through. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, if you want to join into our conversation, don't forget to join in using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. Right now, though, it's time for us to take a break. We'll be right back.
all of these and more on SID Media TV. Like that we're back on your screens in teen gospel life and today we are talking about teenage pregnancy right about now though it's time for us to check out what talent cgi has got let's go Good. Good. hi my name is Felicity Maseko. i was born and raised in Costa. hi my name is Dandum julie i came from kzn but today i am in johannesburg and I said, no, we call me a comedian because my personality was different from the others. Because my parents were disciplined and strict a lot. They told me that education is key. But I believe that so there's more to education than you can do, like the arts. But my family didn't believe that I can do the arts or make money just acting. But then, when I discovered that there's a school where you can actually study for the dramatic arts. I am not the first to do um, to be part of the dramatic arts. My sister does does the dance. My father is a producer in, in Limbobo. So I feel as if it runs through the family and I'm very proud of it because now they're very supportive, especially my mom. Shout out to her. Yeah, she's very supportive. I used to do it at home but I didn't have the skill to do it and how to do it. But I started here in grade eight. I was very, very shocked that I'm still here. But my father told me that if you can get out your stage frights, you can do this. Um, I don't rehearse day to day, um, but basically what can I say is, uh, it's very difficult to switch uh, from one character to another. So now, with that, you actually learn something because now you're working with teamwork. So it's it, it's fun, actually. That's what it's like. Basically, negative thoughts. The most negative thought I've, I've experienced here in school is peer pressure. I was always bullied, but my personality helped me to fight bullying. Like when the other children would bully me, then I would just make a joke and everyone would laugh. People telling you not, um, you're not able to do that, you're not gonna get far in life because of a teenage pregnancy or whatever. But with that, um, to me it's like, I don't care because now dramas to me is like a stress reliever. So now I actually, with drama, fight off depression and anxiety. So now, because you're stepping out of character. And with that, you actually learn um, to put yourself in someone else's shoes yeah, instead of yourself. Well, the first thing is never give up. Fight for your arts. Because if you really want it, don't, la don't allow anyone to persuade you to tell you that, no, you cannot do this thing. It won't make you any money. It's just acting, nothing else. But never give up always have discipline and be confident. I'll tell them to keep um, motivated, to be motivated all the time and don't always rely on your friends. They are not always the best part of your life. So don't rely on your friends and excel. <laughs> That was amazing, guys. We love seeing what talents you guys have in store. So make sure you keep sending them to the number on your screen. Now, remember, TGL's Got Talents is for our 13 to 18 year olds. So get sending. Let's check out what you guys are saying about today's topic over in live chat. Let's go. We went over to ask the question, how can we stop teenage pregnancy on our social platforms? And this is what you guys had to say. Uplessing said, Teenagers must abstain from having sex. Mandy said, Parents should support teenagers emotionally so that they don't seek validation outside in a relationship. Usichaba said, Promoting abstinence is the best way possible. We really like hearing from you guys, so don't forget to send through 
your comments using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. Right now, though, it's time for us to take a break. We'll be right back. Coming up on the next episode of Teen Gospel Live. We ask, how does one go about forgiving him or herself? First of all, try by all means to surround yourself with positive people. Hope. So the way that um, hope can be broken down for me is that hold on, pain in. We also get music from Inspired. <laughs> It's Teen Gospel Live on Home Channel and SID Media Digital on YouTube. Don't, Don't miss, miss it. it! And just like that, it's Teen Gospel Live is back on your screens. And today we are talking about teenage pregnancy. Right now though, it's time for us to see what the chef has in store for us. Chef, what have you prepared? Uh, hey guys, something very simple, nice and easy. It's a vegetarian burger. So we have the buns, we can get anywhere. We have the vegan mayonnaise, we have the lettuce, tomato, and the vegan patties. You guys have about two minutes to make this. It's very, very simple. I give you guys pickles as well, you know, so you guys should enjoy this one. Ah, okay. All right, but before we start, guys, don't forget that we're going through a very bad pandemic, so we always sanitize before we do anything. Can I please also have a sanitizer? You? Just in case. It needs to be very far from you. Wow! <laughs> Okay, guys, do we have two minutes for them? Are you guys ready? Are you oh, ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I just want to eat some. I'll tell you, I'll tell you when. Tell Are you, you ready? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, three, two, one, start Let's go. <sighs> okay. So Chef, today yeah. we're talking about yeah. teenage pregnancy. Yeah. What do you think we can do to prevent a teenage pregnancy? Um, honestly, I think our teens should know how cool it is to be abstinent. You know, um, a lot of people these days think, yo, my friends are doing it. Let me do it. Do not succumb to pressure. Abstain, abstain, abstain. That's true. So I want to know, Nishif, you're wearing this t-shirt. It's <laughs> like you've been. Can you please tell us a little bit about it? First of all, it's not the same t-shirt over and over again. I do have a few of these. Um, guys, I do have a restaurant um, in Pretoria East, the Eastland Pizza Grill, 131 Lenham Street, Eastland, Pretoria East. Um, we serve some really, really amazing food. We have burgers, we have pizzas, Pizza Grill. <laughs> and yeah, man, we have some really, really amazing chips. We have the best chips in the entire in the Pretoria time. East. Okay. Like, I'm willing to bet money on this. Okay, Chef, we'll definitely be checking out your restaurant. Oh, right sorry, now. and and sorry. Um, get us on 060-520-9631 or on Instagram at the Eastland Pizza Group. That's beautiful. Yeah. I'm, I, guys, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely going to be checking hey, out your Look at Linda out here. Yeah. But I want to check out these meals, <laughs> guys. Oh, wait. I want to check these uh, out. Linda. <laughs> I think time, I think time. <laughs> what? All right, let's I'm go for time. Let's go for time. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna catch you guys down next. Ten, nine, Where? eight, eight, seven, six. Are you guys? Are you guys? Five. Five. <laughs> Four. Three. Oh, two, man. One. And then it's time Pause. to wait. All right, let's, wait. Let's, let's move back. Okay. <laughs> The pressure is on. Linda's even sweating. Come on, guys. Hey, so, so the whole point was to make a burger. Ah, uh, uh, wait, did they say this? <laughs> okay, or well, something at least edible, guys. <laughs> I know you guys don't care about mine. <laughs> no, you cannot pass it. Looks good. You guys yeah, can't decide guys. at home who won. You can't pass it as a salad. <laughs> Okay, Chef. You know what? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, guys. My burger <laughs> looks pretty good. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, no, I'm kidding. Lindo, for once, man, you did a very good job. Oh. You stuck to the script. Oh. I'll give you yeah, that. Yeah, the point. Let's give you that. So, uh, Nankosi, you get a wonderful surprise. Oh. Yeah, so we have our wheel over here. Let me just direct you. And I'm just gonna ask you to spin the gray as fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Just spin the wheel as fast as you can and we'll see you. Whatever it lands on, you can see. <laughs> Hopefully, Shave, it lands on you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, after I think, all hard work. I think we have it. tomato juice, right? She deserves a treat. So, I deserve marshmallows. Like peanut butter. Like no. peanut butter is a good choice. Like the perfect like, peanut, peanut butter, butter goes very well with whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, peanut butter. Oh. tomato yes, juice. It's so marshmallows. Biscuits. 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 Ah. It's biscuits. <laughs> 
our biscuits over here. At least, but now you have to fit two in your mouth at the so same time. And what finish I'm gonna them. ask you to do that <laughs> and finish them yes. is just eat the biscuits and say it's in cups for life. Before swallowing. Before swallowing. As many as you can. Not one and not two. But Maybe like three. as many as you can. <laughs> and try and say it's gospel life. I'm gonna count you down. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Yeah, 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 hey. yeah, yeah, oh, oh, oh. yeah, 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 Give it up for Nongo guys. Thank you for being such a sport. And today we, were we are talking about teenage pregnancy. So let's find out what you guys are saying about today's topic over in live chat. Let's go. It's that time of the show where we get to interact on our social platforms. It's simple, guys. Just go follow all our social platforms. And when you send in your comments, don't forget to use the, the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. So today's question is, how can we stop teenage pregnancy? And this is what you guys had to say on our platforms. Let's go. Ulebu said, if we can get teens to focus on something positive and not what the social culture is promoting or the hip-hop culture is promoting. We must promote sports, promote church events, promote healthy teen interaction. Uno Matemba said, Honestly, I wouldn't say educate more about condoms because everyone knows how it operates, but no one decides to use it. So I think it goes back to parents at home. They need to create platforms to open discussions. We really like hearing from you guys, so keep your comments coming. Right now though, it's time for us to head over to our music stage. Joining us right now is Unati. Welcome to Teen Gospel Live. Hi everybody. So the question for today is, how can we stop teenage pregnancy? Um, a way to stop it is just by being a school child and focusing on what teenagers focus on, like school, your friends, not other things like dating and stuff. Just don't yeah. do that. Perfect. That is beautiful. I don't know, why did you decide to become a soloist? Um, I just really listened to a lot of soloists like Tanya Hall and CC Winus, so I got inspiration from them. Yeah. So are they the only people that influence your music? No. Who are they? If my you'd like father. to mention more. Yes, my father, my father's a singer. Um, my family, we all sing together, so I really like it a lot. So, which songs do you guys sing mostly and listen to? Um, my dad writes his own songs, so we usually sing those. We also sing songs from um, the hymnal, you know. Can you give us like one hymn from your dad? My favorite one would be... Ageko, uh, it's like Ageko ofana na ye uwe we dwa umtlengi wa mi. It's like that. That's a beautiful song. I think we it's can a... close the show. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, I we still need to say more. And how can we reach out to our peers using gospel music? Social media. It's the only thing that we do. <laughs> so pretty much just trick them yeah. into watching videos about God, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Unati, for coming through to our show today, guys. And that is how we close off today's episode. Today, we were talking about teenage pregnancy and we learned that it is important to abstain, guys. Like, don't rush. Mm -hmm. There'll be a time for everything. Linda, what did you learn? I think it's very much important to take everything step by step. Like, don't, don't do counterintuitive processes where you start with being a parent and you'll end up being a teenager when you're older. Yeah. Stick to being a teenager, be a kid, focus on your schoolwork, and life will be blissful, you know? Like, life will be beautiful. We'd like to thank our guests for coming through, making the show so litty and so informative. Right now, it's time for us to leave you with a performance from Oonati. Hope you guys enjoy.